Well, I'm late in knowing about this, but that's all right. I said quite a while back that Google, they were either going to sell YouTube or they were going to, you know, like to probably one of the big six, or they were going to try to become competition. They seem to have fused everything kind of into one because now they're going to be competition to the cable providers and offering a number of things that they just flat out can't offer. So this is definitely going to mark the beginning of the end of regular cable television, but it does not put an end to the mainstream media thing. In fact, it brings it a lot closer. And I think that the YouTube TV app and service is probably the biggest reason why we're seeing the stuff that we're seeing happening. Remember when we could only watch live TV here? Well... I remember when content creators were the focus of YouTube. Now we can watch live TV here. In here. Hey, remember running out of DVR space? Now I can save this, and this, and this, and this. For the average consumer, it sounds great. Seems like a great thing. For content creators on YouTube, not so much. Remember we used to pay like a hundred bucks for all of this? Yeah, well, not anymore. Yo, put that up on the TV. <laughs> I wonder if it'll have 60 frames per second available. Then I saw Philip DeFranco's earlier video <clears throat> about the service. And it's interesting how when people heard about this early on, they weren't thinking about it in regards to the stuff that's going on now. I haven't heard many people talk about YouTube TV. When talking to YouTube, they said they're talking to the major US networks, the cable networks, premium channels, sport channels. So you can get your basic package and then you can pick and choose the premium things that you actually wanna watch, you actually wanna pay for, and don't pay for the ones you don't actually use. They also added that they have select markets as far as local affiliate channels and they plan to add more and more throughout the year. In order to have these contracts with the advertisers, and now they're going to be uh, offering stuff from old school media, um, it's making them have to come to some of the standards of old school media. It's still on the advertisers because it's the advertisers that are controlling that sort of thing. And what we may end up seeing with YouTube TV is they might only show things on YouTube TV when it comes to what they show from regular YouTube anyway that are advertiser friendly. And that's where this can be a much bigger deal than we thought previously. Because I think the majority of people are going to want to have the stuff that's more mindless in nature when it comes to entertainment than the stuff that gets people to think. So I, I understand the concerns. I didn't know about YouTube TV until just, just earlier tonight. So what this makes me wonder is, could the FCC be a way of targeting this? Or maybe that's not a good idea. But if we're going to try to tackle this issue, we can't just keep screaming at mainstream media. We need to figure out some sort of a solution. <laughs>